hello guys i'll be showing you um update on the stock market and also i'll be giving you three health stocks that you can buy so stocks that operate in these sectors that can give you good returns i don't want you to get them now just put them on your watch list uh so that you we'll know when to go in i think there are some that we can go in now why there are some we just need to wait for a little pullback before we go inside so put them on your watch list so i uh, want to thank those who have been sending me messages thanking me for the profit they've made from my calls so far and also those that are following me in my um, whatsapp group i want to appreciate you guys also and those also sending me gifts from the profit they've made thank you thank you guys i celebrate you guys these are stuff that give me inspiration to do more and also those that are in my private group i hope you're killing it and i've been getting good good response and those that i give um stock pick privately uh it has actually been amazing seeing you guys are making millions so without wasting time let's look at the all share in this you know i told you guys that i'm seeing the all share in this hitting 70 i'm not seeing any slowing down although we might get some profit takers which is normal in the market but you want to be focused and the main reason why you want to be focused is because you want to see what you are doing you don't want to be moved by emotion so let's look at the all share index and see what is currently happening in the market so we are approaching my target point which is 70 before you see any major pullback before another run because we have good catalysts that will actually push the market the gdp is one and the president has promised in his words he said he's going to deliver six percent growth in the gdp we're going to watch and see how it's going to play out and taking off the subsidy and um, unify exchange rate i think it's um, very very clear that it's going to hit its target and that also will be a major catalyst for the market so we still have some little push we are expecting to so we're expecting another nine percent so what happened yesterday was there is a little technical challenge so we are unable to connect to to the exchange so because of those um because of such challenge we were unable to a lot of traders just give up you know they didn't log in to do whatever they plan to do but this is just an um, opportunity for a lot of people to buy stock because a lot of stock pull back and a lot of people think maybe the bears are here guys we are in a bullish trend and if you understand bullish market sometimes it might go for months and years but that is when you are in a good and when you are in a stock that is fundamentally sound so that is when you want to get such a um, return but any play that is not too strong uh i think you by now you should take off your capital and um, allow your profit to run just in case you don't want to see um the other side of the game but i want to encourage you guys this market is so sweet because you can only gain or lose 10 percent in a day so that is how sweet the market is and if you've been buying stock you know that as you're going as you're living somebody is buying so the person that is buying has another vision and has another thinking you understand guys so that is one thing i want you guys to put in your knowledge so after adding that to your knowledge let's move to the first um health stock i think we are going to look at before then uh there is a news that um, we've reduced importation of drugs and if that is being um if we if we implement that we might be considering getting into gsk so if you don't know gsk is a stock that has actually uh done well in the past and um, we are still expecting it to do more so we're expecting it to do more so as you can see if we want to measure from this particular point to this point we are looking at 830 percent so i'm not giving you assurance that you're going to make this but uh, if you make half of it i think it's fine if you come back to our previous all-time high i'm actually i'm aware of this push that get to this point they get to this point because they sold their 
their company i think in ghana or i don't know but it's, i guess it is in an um, african country so they sold some of their businesses and uh, they distributed the the proceed for they distributed it to their shareholders so that is why it's this point so they paid a, a extraordinary dividends so so they they distributed i think i can't remember the actual dividends but i know it was actually cool yeah there's 2018 yeah it was 2018 that they actually um made that uh, payment made that uh, announcement so that is what pushed the stock to this price that is 35 so if it's to return back to this point um we will be got, we'll be seeing a good return if you are getting in maybe eight i think below eight is fine because you are getting this now and a lot of people are not aware about this and um, if you are getting it at this point you're not afraid of um it going down much because you know it has uh, it has been it has been ranging since 2019 2020 21 22 23 and i think it is high time we push the stock up so maybe we should push it to the top. i'm just saying it is time for the stock to pick up because of this policy i just explained that uh, we want to reduce importation of drugs so we want to be um, producing it locally and there are a lot of investment that has uh, actually um, um, go into this and um, also the the funds that they've invested if you check their let's look at their let's look at their balance sheet so this GSK. So if you if you look at their profit margin, they are not they didn't actually do well in this first quarter, which is uh, they made one point nine profit last year, and now they made one point four. So it's not actually a a good one. But another area you want to check, let's see if I can find it. Is there is there um. Okay, their operating activities too is not so good, but it's 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 nice they are actually reducing it. Uh, but I want to see a good I want to see a good number. So I think this one didn't capture it because that money just came in. So this is for last quarter. So I think maybe they will capture it in their second quarter. So that is what we want to look at. We want to see a huge drone. And if you check the bull run is somehow sectoral that what i mean is um, different different sector has time that they push if you if you, if you notice for a while now the insurance stock has been going up you understand they've been pushing up like mad so that is what you want to consider so i think um, we are getting close that's why i said you should put it on your watch list we are getting close to the time for us to actually make money from the health um, sector so to speak so let me take you to the number two and if you wait to the end i'm going to give you the the a very nice one at the end and i think you will like it okay this is mebeka so mebeka is actually striving to a uh, all-time high which is um 605 and it's currently at 5.49 so if we at if we get any break from here We'll be expecting a new all-time high so mebeka is also a nice one and then um, if you want to check their balance sheet for mebeka we'll see their their sales actually drop in first quarter because they made 14 billion and in this quarter they made 4 billion so it's actually dropped drastically but it, there is a wisdom here yeah, the cost of financing this sales is is like this four dollar they made there and um if, if you if you subtract if you subtract 10 from this you get this subtract this from this so they have 3.8 billion as profits here and uh, in this area they have one point so it actually drop guys it actually drop so let's look at their operating activities uh, let's look at their operating activities okay let's look at their investing activities they are actually reducing the amount they are investing into their business so guys 
you want to get into this when you see any breakout and you don't want to stay too much because the fundamentals are not but why i'm bringing this to you is this is just first quarter the main report that you want to use to judge um, um, the health of the stock is third quarter so the third quarter you use in predicting fourth quarter and that is what you use to do your forecast so that you will not be left with the bag so you want to be very smart in doing that one so another one i want to show you guys is fitzin so fitzin also is um they are involved in um think uh, health materials so to speak so they are actually doing giving us all time i so you can see this is bullish trend and um, i think nothing is stopping it because uh, it's the earth sector and i think it is time so it's re it will be a gradual movement i'm not expecting any drastic movement right now to be a gradual one and um, if we check um this name it if we check fits in right now you can see cost of sales you can see cost of sales is six cost of sales here is five so you can see their profit is actually good compared to other ones we've been checking so their profit is 4.8 and um same time last year they did 4.4 so which is not um you can see operating act activities increase finance costs increase um, finance income reduce uh, profits before tax um, profits so look at their eps they are any partial increase also so that is why i said um, fits in we actually do well because they have good q1 so we are expecting q2 for us to be able to actually predict which is which that is why i say you should put this on your watch list so the last one i want to show you guys is one of my nice uh, favorite stuff which is nemit so nemit right now is currently pushing to our all-time eye which I'm, I'm very i'm very sure is going to eat it this is our all-time eye so this is the all-time eye here so i'm sure it's going to eat it from here so if we pick from here and then um, come to this place come to this place so 33 percent is fine if you have 10 million that's 3 million era profit if you have 100,000 that's 30,000 era profit so don't be too don't raise up your head too much what you have is fine if it's 10,000 era you have guys start investing it Warren Buffett that was once the richest man in the world started investing with 11 dollars so and drew that money to get to billion so if you are starting with 10,000 era I have a client that started with that amount and um, not that she doesn't have money but just to test the water and when the ten thousand become twenty thousand she actually invested more because she now believe in the trade so that is few things i want to show you but let's look at nemit book this is their book but this is the full year this is the full year um this is the full year report that is how they fell last year so look at what they did last year you see there's an improvement uh, though the profit is 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 low and this is their income let's look at their let's look at their let's look at their earnings per share let's look at their eps if we can find it no dividends no dividends okay profit for the year they didn't declare it here financing activities okay no okay no much report here no much report here I, I i was supposed to show you guys their q1 i can't go back so name it is a good one also um, i think they have um their q1 is it's fine and um i think they will go into this region so once they go into this region uh, we'll be looking another push so i'll be expecting their q2 i'll do proper analysis and then um, give you guys my pick just put this um four stocks uh, put them on your watch list so that you see what they are currently doing and see how you can take advantage of them so guys if you're still watching ensure you subscribe to my youtube channel
hit the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i post videos like this and in case you just stumble into my channel do well to check my previous call i have been giving calls since 1960 so guys will be making money those who bought these stocks here guys they are smiling to the bank you can see how my calls have been just go to my watch list i have a nigerian stock to buy you can get good knowledge there and check my past call for you to know what you are doing and also don't forget to subscribe to my stock secret society where i give people tips where i teach where i have um, group coaching on how to navigate the market what to do and how to buy good stocks and also how to build a sound portfolio and you can also reach out to me for a one-on-one -on -one so that i can tell you what to buy and when to sell so that we can make money together i do the research i do the searching i do the heavy work you just buy and sell make money and smile to the bank thank you for watching don't forget for the recap i showed you guys gsk gsk is a good one uh you can see the chart i don't you don't need any profit to tell you about this and um, all you just need is confirmation from the q2 and this is me baker also you don't need a profit to tell you that this might break the all-time high and this is fitting and you i just showed you that they are profitable and that is what has pushed this price smart people are already here waiting for result result is good it's up and they take profit um and I show you guys Nemit. Nemit has been killing it. If you've been in the market, they are uh, on full bid. Nobody wants to sell because of the push that is here. So maybe when you get to this all time, I, some people might put some for sale. So thank you for watching to this point. Until we see you again, keep making money and keep protecting your profit. Bye.